The Surrender Novena with Mary. Nine days of prayers and reflections to surrender everything to Jesus with Mary. Day 3. Servant of God, Don Dolindo Rutolo, has shared with the world the Surrender Novena. Fruit of his extraordinary communications with Jesus throughout his life. Father Dolindo, who was called a saint by his contemporary, St. Padre Pio, referred to himself as Mary's little old man, and the rosary was his constant companion. Therefore, brothers and sisters in Christ, this novena is simply a companionship to surrender all that we are, all that we have, and all that we do, guided by Father Delindo's surrender novena, and following the one who said yes to the will of God, our Blessed Mother Mary, the model of surrender. Throughout those nine days of the Novena, we will progress towards Lent with the daily surrender of our lives to Jesus. This desire to surrender our lives to Him will be a small but significant way of accompanying Him with our Lenten offerings. Through His agony in the garden, and being completely surrendered to Him each day on His journey to Calvary, we will enter more deeply and be with Him in His passion and death to rise again with him on Easter Sunday. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How many things I do when the soul, in so much spiritual and material need, turns to me, looks at me, and says to me, You take care of it, then close its eyes and rests, in pain you pray for me to act, but that I act in the way you want. You do not turn to me, instead you want me to adapt to your ideas. You are not sick people who ask the doctor to cure you, but rather sick people who tell the doctor how to. So do not act this way, but pray as I taught you in the Our Father, hallowed be thy name, that is, be glorified in my need. Thy kingdom come, that is, let all that is in us and in the world be in accord with your kingdom. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, that is, in our need, decide as you see fit for our temporal and eternal life. If you say to me truly, thy will be done, which is the same as saying, you take care of it. I will intervene with all my omnipotence, and I will resolve the most difficult situations. In the letter of James chapter 4, verse 7, we read, Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Opposing the devil and his ways is fundamental to the Christian life. That is why prayer is important, because it's how we rebuke the devil. The devil is relentless in his pursuits of us, so we must be relentless in rebuking him. Every day, every hour, every minute if we need be. In our lives we need to resist to the devil, and we do so by staying close to the Lord and staying away from all his activities. When we are centered in Jesus Christ, we do not be intimidated by the devil, for Christ has conquered him. On the other hand, we shouldn't let ourselves become unduly focused on the devil. San Pedro Pio said, The devil is like a mad dog tied by a chain. Behind the leg of the chain, he cannot catch hold of anyone. And you, therefore, keep your distance. If you get too close, you will be caught. Remember, the devil has only one door with which to enter into our soul, our will.
Holy Mary, heart of total surrender. Your whole life was veiled in a mystery of faith and surrender to God. Your son lifted this veil at your coronation and brightness streamed from your crown to light up all the hidden years of unconditional love while caring for your own family, your neighbors, and all who sought your unfailing help in their needs. It was all for Jesus who had exalted you to become the Queen of Heaven and Earth. From humble beginnings you were looked upon as being lowly and of no importance, but you had that knowledge and understanding then of the Father's will, as you have now in Heaven. Your mind would have grasped the deepest truth, that your Divine Son is fulfilling his earthly mission and that you were participating in the greatest act of love and sacrifice for the salvation of mankind. O Blessed Mother, you always said yes. This was your fiat of perfect love. You submitted with free and open consent to the will of God, immediately aware of what that yes truly meant. It meant the culmination of a united surrender to the will of the Father. O Mary, grant us a vision of your faith, so that in our daily lives we may always have hope and trust in all our struggles and the grace to surrender and love unconditionally, so that like you, it will win for us a bright crown of glory in heaven. Mary, whose heart was totally surrendered to God, pray for us. Mary, whose heart was totally surrendered to God, pray for us. Mary, whose heart was totally surrendered to God, pray for us. Let us now pray together the act of surrender and repeat ten times. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. O oh Jesus, I surrender myself to you. Take care of everything. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.